we've now created our child component and we've got access to our data inside of it. Now, the next thing we're going to work on is showing that actual code editor to the user. For that, we're gonna use the Monaco editor React component. I wanna very quickly take a look at some documentation around this component just to understand how it works. We'll then install it into our project and make use of it. I've already pulled up the documentation inside the browser window. So here's that page I just linked to in that diagram. On this page, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and find a list of links right here. And then I'll find the section called get value. There are two different ways we can get the value out of the code editor as the user types in there. We're gonna use the second approach. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and right here, it shows us exactly how to make use of the code editor. So we are going to import the component, show the component, and there's a couple of different props we have to provide. We have to provide a height for the editor, a language to be used for syntax highlighting, the initial code to show inside there, and then an on change prop. This on change callback right here, so in this case, they are providing handle editor change, is gonna be called whenever user types inside of that editor or in any way changes the value. The current value of the text editor is going to be pushed into this function right here as the first argument called simply value. We're going to create a piece of state that is gonna hold on to this value. Then once a user submits the form, we're gonna take that piece of state and we're gonna send it into our server action, which is gonna be responsible for actually updating our data. Now, explaining all that stuff with words is a little bit confusing. So let's just write out some code and really quickly, I think you'll get an idea of what's going on here. To get started back inside my editor, I'm gonna open up my terminal. I'm gonna stop my running development server. And then I'm going to install that component with an npm install at monaco-editor slash react. Once I've installed that, I'll then start my development server back up with an npm run dev. Then inside of our snippet edit form file, at the very top, let's import editor from at monaco-editor slash react. Next, down inside of our edit form, I'm gonna empty out this div right here and put in my editor component. And as we saw, we're going to provide a couple different props to it. We're going to put in a height of 40 VH, which means we're going to take up about 40% of the screen with this editor. We're going to use a theme of VS Dark, a language of JavaScript, a default value. So again, this is going to be the initial code we so show inside the editor. For the default value, we want to use the incoming snippets code property. So we'll put in snippet.code. Now let's just test this out as is. We're not gonna wire up that on change event handler just yet. I just wanna make sure that we can at least show the editor and put some appropriate code inside there. So I'll save this file. Let's go and do a quick test. Back over here, I will go to the edit page for one of my snippets. And there we go, there's our editor and we've clearly got all of our code inside there. Now, at present, it's probably really, really hard to see because it's very, very small, but up here at the top right-hand side is something called the mini-map. Again, it's just super tiny. I can't even zoom in enough to show it, but the mini-map is kind of like a, an overview of the contents of the file. And we don't really need the mini-map at all because our files are generally gonna be really, really small. So I'm gonna add in some options to disable that mini-map. It's not really required here. It's just something that kind of bothers me to see the minimap on the side. Maybe it bothers you too. So I just want to show you how we could disable it. To hide that minimap, we're going to add in another prop of options. That's going to be an object. So we're going to put in two sets of curly braces and I'll add minimap enabled false, like so. Now, if I save this, and go back over, no more minimap. And I know it's really small, I know you could barely see it, but again, if we had any more code than what we have right here, it would have been a lot more prominent. And it's just not really necessary for the application we are building. All right, well, we got the editor being displayed. So let's pause right here, come back in a moment, and we need to add in that one missing piece, which is the onChange event handler. 